if you're wondering why I'm looking at the ground, there is actually a reason for that. And that's because I want to show off how Lakeville looks. Slowly. So you can see how every cliff is nicely rounded with the new rendering systems. And this map, I think, is one of the most apparent changed maps with the new visuals. Especially if you get up close to the shoreline and look over the cliff and such. Some of the desert maps look pretty insane now too with all the sand dunes and everything. You can just go ramping off of those things if you get a nice fast tank and really blow your tracks off. So if you remember my last video, if you watched that one, I was in... what tank was I in? The T-34. The American Heavy. Remember that I said that next I'm going to be playing a tank with a s another slow moving turret. On the M36 Slugger here, which is the tier 6. Don't kill me if I'm wrong. <laughs> the tier 6 American tank destroyer. Or one of them at least. I think by this point they split off between turret and non turret. Turret TDs, do they not? I'm not too updated on my tech lines. And in this game, I'm following the Sherman here, the M4. That's a Sherman. <laughs> I usually don't push through like this, but seeing how he's there and there's one guy behind me, I thought, hey, this will either make for a good video or a nice quick death. And at this point, he lights up a bunch of tanks in front of him, and I'm thinking, oh, God, he's dead. He's, he's going to be dead in just a couple shots here. T-50 runs down into the wall. I shoot him. He's trying to back up in front of me. <laughs> guess I was in his way. And quite frankly when I first came around this corner I thought holy crap is this even the right corner? Or is this even the same corner? Did they completely change the layout of the map? I honestly didn't even recognize it. Ooh. Oh, I don't know if he can hurt the back of me. Probably. It's a tank destroyer so I can't imagine much armor on the back. And of course another tank runs the other direction now. But that Sherman's doing pretty good cleaning him up. I think he has a little bit of support. Uh, peek around the corner, try to keep my front hull armor angled so they can't penetrate me. And that didn't work. I got a shot off on him though. And I see now that he's coming around the corner to get after me. And he makes a pretty stupid mistake here. First off, showing himself around the corner. And doing enough just so that I can shoot him, but he can't shoot me. Or didn't give himself the time to. He just pushes me out of the way when I try to stop him from moving. Apparently he has more horsepower or else weighs more than me. He also had the hill advantage. Uh, so I see now that, their base, that our base is being captured. I think, oh, it's over. Unless the, our one tank around the back can get there in time. Because I'm not going to try. Did I make the shot? I can't remember. I'd like to believe that that was my kill, even though I know it wasn't. And in here, I was peeking around the corner, I thought for sure there was a second tank to my right between me and that guy, uh, that other tank destroyer. So I was looking over there the whole time, kind of concerned about that. And then all of a sudden nowhere, this guy pops out. Wasn't expecting him to do that. One shot, and he's dead. Avoid running into him. And then back into the action. I do have one quick question for you guys before this video is over, and that is, what do you think about me releasing another video on Kerbal Space Program or starting up or resuming an LP on Minecraft? They didn't get a whole lot of views, but maybe now that I have more subscribers, they might actually do good. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Uh, I'd really like to show more videos other than World of Tanks, but I'm not too sure where to go. And I really only have so many tanks that I can do gameplay videos on. So let me know. And until next time, guys, see you later. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.